Hi, and welcome to another episode of the How to Be a Money Master Weekly Show. And this week we are talking about step five of the simple steps to empowerment. And that step is educate yourself and take action, which sounds so, so, so simple, doesn't it? Uh, you know, educating yourself is has never been easy. And, you know, there's so many ways you can learn. There's obviously uh, the YouTube channel here, uh, my corresponding website, our Facebook community, my personal uh, Facebook page, my LinkedIn page, you know, and not to mention all of the other resources available online. If you Google how to uh, anything, <laughs> you will find so, so, so many. You'll find thousands and thousands of thousands of websites and blog articles and videos and everything, no matter what it is you want to learn about. And some of them are from people you've never heard of before. Some of them are people that you've maybe heard of, you know, don't really know that well. And then there's some really big names in there too, as well. I mean, you know, uh, you look at uh, Tony Robert uh, Robbins, uh, T. Harv Eckert, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, Warren Buffett, <laughs> you know, um, you know, there are so many people that are putting content out there, which is wonderful. The most difficult part is, well, I mean, one, making sure that you're getting uh, your information from a reputable source because anybody can put anything out there. So it is definitely uh, a caveat emptor or uh, let the buyer beware uh, situation out there. But uh, other than that, it's, it's taking action. Taking action is probably the most difficult step because it is so easy to get caught up in just learning. And there's so much out there and you just want to take it all in. And you can jump from one thing to another and go further down the rabbit hole or, or totally different rabbit holes, whatever, you know, uh, whatever you want to do. But uh, after you've, you've learned all this information and, you know, you've kind of figured out what works for you, what sounds good to you, what makes sense, um, you know, depending on where you're hearing it from, you know, one of the things you do have to be careful of is that caveat emptor, uh, which is Latin for buyer beware, let the buyer beware, um, you know, because you can actually get multiple hits on, I'm going to call it bad information or information that is not in your best interest uh, because there are so many people out there. You can pretty much find information to back up anything out there whether it's true or not true or you know for the greater good or not for the greater good uh you know whatever the case might be so that's that is one thing you do have to be careful of but uh regardless i mean it's your decision to make so once you determine you know what you believe works for you or what you believe could have worked for you uh, the next thing you need to do, which is the second half of this step, is to take action on it. Do something. Write out a plan of attack. Um, it doesn't matter what it is. I mean, you know, taking imperfect action than not taking action at all. And uh, you will find that as you take those actions, you uh, will definitely get clarity. It's almost like if you remember the old Indiana Jones film <laughs> where, you know, Indiana Jones goes to take the step. There's like this giant chasm and there's nothing in between him and the prize that he's trying to go for. And as soon as he goes to take that first step, you know, and he doesn't know he could just fall to his death. You know, he can't even see how far down this thing goes. And you know, he goes to take the first step, the floor or the path appears underneath his foot. And he is able to get all the way to the treasure and back, <laughs> you know, safely because he took action. Now, he could have sat there on the edge of this, this whatever you want to call it. It wasn't even a cliff. It was just the edge of this huge drop off. Um, and he could have sat there and said, OK, well, let me Google what to do. And let me Google the best way to approach this. And let me and what if I do this? And what if I consider that, you know, and what if I built something so I can get across there? Or what if I could throw a rope across or you know, he could have, I mean, he could have spent forever uh, researching and learning and trying to figure out the best way. But really, 
the only way to get from point A to point B is to take a step. And sometimes you don't know what that step is going to be. You don't know where that step is going to lead you. Um, and so, you know, you just have to take it on faith that you've, you've done the work. Now, by that same token, you don't want to put everything. So if you're just starting out and you're not sure what you want to do, what that best first step is, you don't want to take all of your life savings and put it in something you have no idea how it's going to work. You know, so, so make it uh, an educated first step. Um, you know, I'm sure that Indiana Jones had some clue that that is what he needed to do. And it, I have to admit, it's been a while since he's in the movie. It, it may have been uh, covered in there. He may have mentioned something. I honestly don't remember. I just remember that taking the first step and having the floor appear um, and really doing that leap of faith. Uh, you know, but, but you know, so, so but uh, make experiments. You know, take little steps. Take little steps of action, uh, whether or not they're the perfect thing to do or maybe a learning uh, You know, but, you know, your plan of attack and then follow it like i said the absolute worst thing you can do is nothing and so that is why step five this is like super quick and easy and to the point is to you know learn as much as you can regardless of where it's from like i said there's so much out there um, i know i am not the be all and end all as much as i appreciate you coming here and using me as a resource i definitely want to encourage you to get out there and check other things um, and there are some people out there that are more like snake oil salesmen. They will try and sell you something bright and shiny. Um, there are other people who, you know, give away. I know Ramit Sethi, um, uh, you know, Tony Robbins, T. Harv Eckert. Um, you know, a lot of them are giving away a ton of really good and valuable information for absolutely free. And that is what you really want, you know. If somebody's just trying to sell you something, that's not to say you can't, you know, look at them and or anything like that, but take it with a grain of salt, you know, and say, okay, what are their intentions? Are they really trying to do this for my best interest to, to kind of give back for the successes that they've had? Or are they doing this because they want me to buy their program or their book or their planner or, uh, you know, whatever the case might be? And uh, once you've done that research, take the action. Bold, uh, and please share that with us and let let us know here at the Money Master community, um, you know what what you've tried, how it worked, how things went. Um, you know, I absolutely love to hear, uh, you know, everyone's successes, um, but I also like to hear, you know, the learning experiences that you've had. And you'll notice I don't say mistakes, you know, I don't say failures, um, because I truly believe that there's no failure unless you completely give up, and there's not really any mistakes either because somehow you're falling forward, you're always failing forward. And so, you know, anything just like with, uh, you know, the light bulb, you know, there's a thousand tries to try and get the light bulb uh, done correctly. And, you know, he said that I just found a thousand ways that it didn't work. You know, that's, that's all it is. So, excuse me, treat it all like an experiment. Um, you know, don't be completely married to the results. See what happens. And if it seems to be working, you try a little bit more. And if it's not working, you know, step back, take a look at it objectively and try and figure out what part of it didn't work. Because a lot of times there's parts of it that work and parts that do not. And so you want to keep the parts that are working and adjust the parts that are not working so that you can finally figure out and get and get the whole thing that's working for you. So uh, thank you very much. Have a wonderful week. And I will see you next week with step six. Wonderful. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.